It's been a busy testing time at RPM lately, and as a result, our long-term Audi A7 hasn't done much mileage since our last update. Now sitting at just over 12,000 kilometers, the onboard computer is telling us it's time for a service, and the car has been booked in for one in the next few days. Service intervals in the A7 are 30,000 kilometers, so this checkup will be an oil change and a general once-over, rather than a full service. We'll be asking the dealership to check a few extra things. The rear parking camera, which doesn't always activate when necessary, and two rattles, one from the head-up display, which is housed just behind the instrument cluster, and the other from somewhere on the passenger side, near the dashboard-mounted tweeter. We've come to appreciate a lot of the optional extras in our test car, everything from the S-Line styling package to the sophisticated night vision system. On an everyday basis though, two options in particular add real luxury and driving pleasure to the A7. One being the front seats, the other being the Bang & Olufsen sound system. The seats are electrically adjustable in 22 different ways and include a massaging system. Made up of 10 pneumatic cushions, it offers various programs and intensities. We still think the best automotive sound system on the market is the one from Bang & Olufsen. Various test cars over the past few months have been fitted with options from Dyne Audio, Harman Kardon and Rockford Fosgate, none of which match the B&O system in our A7. Together with the seats, it offers a great way to relieve stress in Joburg traffic, or on any road for that matter. The only downside to both of those options is that neither is cheap. The seats come in at just under 20,000 Rand, while the audio system is a massive 77,000 Rand. Our time with the Audi A7 is drawing to a close, with a car scheduled to return to Audi South Africa in the next three months. Before it goes back, we're hoping to take it for a long open road drive, something which we haven't been able to do yet. With the service due, we'll be taking the A7 in for an oil change and general checkup. We'll bring you a report on that in our next update.